Hi guys, welcome. It's um, the 31st here of December. So that means that the archlinux.org website will give their new ISO tomorrow, right? So if you want to download, you'll get it tomorrow. But what if today is a machine, your machine broke down and you want to have the ISO, right? Build it your Self. Go to github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arcmix Nemesis. In the folder Arch, I've created of added create Arch Linux ISO, and this is how easy it is. Make sure you have an Arch ISO, right? The application, and then just run the script that comes with the application, and then this is the official Relang configuration. We have our own Arch Linux, Garuda has its own, and so on, right? We all used different configurations but this is the default arch so if you want to have the iso today you just run that and i just did and what is uh, the result yeah an arch links iso right from the 12 31st of today so let's <coughs> boot it up version box let's clone it let's call it arch by the way right is um, already there there is all already an arch so I need to call it differently different name up here is the other arch right so this is my ISO I've built it locally it's on my system I did this out this one that one start go what's different in since the last ISO that if this is colorful, colorful, you think about old stuff bias, it says here, right? So I'm gonna power off. This is all normal, nothing new here. I'm gonna change this virtual machine and I'm gonna tell them, you know what, mimic, because it's it's an emulator, right? Mimic that you are a new system, UEFI. And when it boots up now, you get this extra new line. This is what changed. There's a mem test, so you can run your memory, check your memory if, if everything is okay, and it will just keep on testing, testing, testing. Escape, you're out of it, and off we go installing Arch. So it's always a choice. Eh? There are 44 ways to install Arch Linux. You can do it with the Arch Linux ISIS, you can do it with um, Carly and ALCI and a riser and of course this one right Arch Linux or you can use scripts or you can type every command and since the Arch install script is there I am very very lazy and also very very happy but first of all <laughs> there we go right Azerty Twerty make sure you can type on your machine then you can type Arch install Let's see if the script has changed, if there's a new version. There used to be a problem, so we'll see if that's still the case. The problem is that um, it, 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 it ends in a, an error, and I figured out if I, now, if I pull USB from the real metal thing, not this machine, virtual machine, right? But on real metal, you need to pull the USB out right now and fill everything in. So Arch install languages, English, keyboard layout, noop. BE Belkin, thank you very much. Local mirror region, normally I would take Sweden, but these days there are issues with Sweden, but let's try. And locale English, sure, sure drives. Block device SDA, disk layout, you do whatever you want, wipe it all and put X4 there. Encrypting parcel, no. Put the CTL, so if you want to have a colorful stuff, colorful look, then it's grub. And if you want, if you're happy with a black line, then it's gonna be systemd boot CTL. Swap true, no, no, thank you very much. Host name, cool, root password. Then the user, add the user, this is me, that's the password, that's another password. And yes, it should be a super user. And then we are going to confirm an exit, right? This is better, this is improved. Profile, desktop, XFCE, 
choose always the same thing, you know what you're getting. And then NVIDIA and so on. I want to have VMware VirtualBox audio, Pipewire, sure. Linux, yes, additional, no network, sure. Take me, the network manager is awesome. And then I need to go for Brussels. Automatic sync time, true, save, install, enter. How easy is this, right? I've made already plus 20, I think, videos about this Arch install. It's so much better than typing every little command in, which is also interesting and, and very educational. But if you want to do the work quickly and have an operating system, mm, I'll choose Arch install. So remember the tip if you get stuck somewhere, just pull out the USB. Everything is in, in RAM, everything is loaded up, so you can unplug it. Maybe it's not necessary anymore because there are changes. I've seen changes since last time I've made a video. So that's cool. Improvement, improvement, improvement. All right. Let's pause the video. And then he wants to know if we'd like to shroot. So remember the word arch-shroot. That's a command you'll use if you want to fix your computer. And you can always, that's important, always fix your Arch Linux based computer with arch-shroot. And this is your black screen. So let's just look at it. So this is it. It's not grub, it's system D boot. And that's it. You can add some more lines. We have added some more lines on the Ariser project. So HTTPS Ariser.eu. You'll see that it's indeed possible to add some more lines to your system D boot. Well, we're on Arch. Let's ask, are we? Right. New fetch, you would type it in and it says command not found. What does it mean? It means that you still need to install stuff. So first of all, you need to tell Pacman, go and get the databases. If it's not already there, this is now done. It now knows all the packages from the core repository on the extra repository, the community repository. There is more, right? Just these two, three are the default. Okay, so the Pacman were to pacman minus s neofetch you this is the installation command say so, okay go grab me neofetch and then i can show you hey by the way i am a notch okay now this is well fun and no fun i mean it's great that we have already something visual graphical and all that but we'd like to have a complete operating system so what i'll do is git install git right pull it in so i can do a git clone and i can copy the scripts that i've made available for you all on air dubois article Linux nemesis because with bash scripting you can actually say to the system you know what if i am on x doesn't really matter on a Arch Linux based, whoa, on a Arch Linux based system, do this and do that, right? And you can define it, and it's defined in personal. There you see, if you're on Carly, do this. If you're on Ryzen, do that. If you're on Arch Linux, do that. If you're on Arch, do that. If you're on Endeavor OS, do that. If you're on Garuda, do that. If you're on Sierra, do that. If you're on ALCI, do that. This is for all display managers, and this one is also for all Arch Linux systems. So you can define what you want on an operating system, starting with the basics. This is a pure arch, right? Pure basis, but it's not usable. It's, it's sound and printing and Bluetooth and all that, right? It's not usable. So you just keep scripts around, change my scripts, right? And start from there and add things, remove things and see how it's built. We have also people coming from Red Hat looking at the scripts and the only thing they have to change is of course a pseudo Pacman that does not exist on that particular distro. And that's it, and Debian as well, pseudo apt install, fine. So it's it's a bash, it's scripting, but it's um, changing some, some commands, but the packages often have the same name, right? 
So this is what you do. You run something, the something you have a look at. The sublime text is something I would like to install, right? This is Vim, open with Vim. Mousepad is okay, right? You can read it now and you can see what's going on. What's the idea? In this case, I'm not doing anything because of the hashtag in the front, but if I wanted to, I can install it. And this is just icons. Creation, creativity. And it keeps on running and it's following this one, the course of run script this, run script that, remove first all kinds of things that I don't want, then install all kinds of nemesis, then install all kinds of article links, then install the core software, sudo pacman minus s Firefox, let's see. No, not there yet, right? Not there yet, it's gonna come. GIMP is gonna come, Inkscape is gonna come. Why? Because I use it all the time. You make your own decisions. You decide what to put on your system. So let's wait till everything is done and then you'll see what I mean. All right, let's pause the video here. All right, the script is finished. So we say sudo reboot. And we've started with an Arch Linux that we've built ourselves. We're on system D boot. I'll make the seconds a little bit shorter. One second is enough for me. You got yourself and then it, then it depends, right? Arch install comes with Lightium. You can switch to SDM if you like. But um, this is the wallpaper that I've made as default and the Arch theme is default and the icon there. And then you log in and you have this um, system that's going to work. I have my Telegram, InSync, Discord. So this is the real metal thing, not the virtual thing, but really this is what I need. When I boot up, I contact, I have um, connection, communication, applications. It's all there. So these are my choices. You choose whatever you like. And these are, let's go the, like this maybe, like so. Have a look. Accessories, just scroll over them. You just check out the applications. The icon theme is Arclex Candy Beauty. And there are things I don't want, like Ristretto is still here. I never use that, but okay. Nor will I use XF Burn or the Parola media, media Player. But this is the default XFC package, right? If you type sudo pacman minus s XFC4, XFC4 goodies, that's basically what you get. And you can start removing anything you don't like with sudo pacman minus r. Put it in a script, run it, done. Et voila. So this is my system, yo, cool. This is my system that um, I would use as a default. And later on, you know what I'll do. Today anyway, 22 was all in light of left WM. And I think 23 will be all about this particular desktop. So you install whatever desktop you like. My suggestion, and it is just that, use XFC as a basis and then look around. What do you like? What do you want to play? I mean, there are 30 plus desktops. Choose one that you like and say, okay, let's dive into that particular um, desktop environment or tiling window manager or it's up to you now up here is the choice in lightm it's here in sdm it's here somewhere right so choose what you want to put into and this is another way of doing things voila i was waiting for this one here in here we have the wallpapers this is not a nice wallpaper you'll get bored by it but I have commands like var and if that's there, you see, it's going to copy paste a certain file from a certain place and variety configuration is overwritten. So the default variety is gone. So you see where the drill is. I mean, what, where, where the topic should be. This one should be in here, right? Arclix Nemesis should be in data folder and I do var 
again. Nothing happens, but yes, sure, things did happen. So preferences. I'll have now with the, all the wallpapers from wallhaven.com. Have a look. Abstract, minimal, space, sci-fi. Those are tags and they're coming in as we speak because people ask me all the time, Eric, where do you get these beautiful wallpapers from, right? I don't do anything, right? I really don't do anything. It's variety at work. It's Wallhaven at work and that's it. And sometimes I say old F. I say, okay, I like this one, old F and F is favorites. It means that I have after a month's worth of alt f's i'll have in variety in favorites a lot of wallpapers and all i do is ctrl a ctrl c put it on the cloud and that's it and as such you get six gigabytes of wallpapers in five years <laughs> all right enjoy arch enjoy arc links enjoy garuda enjoy endeavor enjoy linux and have a happy new year look at the date Cheers.